All right, it would appear we are live. Let's test. All right, it would appear we are live. Let's test. Mic test successful. What else do I do? Should I also record? Yeah, I think I will. Recording begins in 3, 2, 1 now. Just to have some clean in game audio. If this is gonna be a proper video at some point. And we are also going online. Well, we are online, we're just going public. We're currently unlisted. Public. Here we go. Save. I am public. I just can't interact with my chat for some reason. All right. We are ongoing. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my first stream. Well, it's technically my first on this channel. Skip the intro. I've seen it a hundred times. And since I'm only a trader, Aserai. I know I usually go Batanian, but mm, not this time. We're not gonna be doing any combat. We're not declaring war on anybody. We're not even going to fight bandits. That's it. Aserai. All we need. What you think? Does this guy look like a traitor to you? Hello there, Isaac. Welcome. I am doing pretty well. Well, technically this isn't the start. I, um, I have a main channel linked in description. But I've decided to move my live streams and my... Uh, lazier let's plays and content on this second channel main channel has the edited stuff but i'm glad to have you here all right mm, he's too big to be a trader just randomize just randomize nope does not have a trader face all right this one has a traitor face. Give him a traitor haircut and no beard. Traitors are clean shaven or they wear a beautiful mustache. Like this. Perfect. Mr. Traitor Man. Well, obviously they were merchants. And obviously I was good with people. And obviously I was spending time in the markets. And this is not so obvious because this is not uh, anything a trader would do. Hmm. Maybe this, but I'm not gonna use roguery on this build. On my next build, yeah, I will. But this time, I don't even know. A road with a scouts, I guess. Hmm, no. Stuttgart with the garrisons. Perfect. We will be investing in social and intelligence skills. Uh, since we're not doing any combat, let me give you this right now, we're going to be ignoring these. And we'll focus mostly on these. These two. 
building an empire through peaceful means. Also, let me do something real quick, boys. Um, studio, like this. I'll be putting an announcement on my main channel. A community post. Maybe we'll have some people who want to join in, but they don't have the notifications because they are not subscribed to this channel. So I'll be doing that for them. Content alive. This one, and get the link. Open a new tab. Uh, right. Banner Lord is a game. Hate when uh, when my videos autoplay. Alright, post the link, post an image, obviously. Excuse my neighbors, they like making noise. A desktop. And we'll do this here. Edit preview. Post. All right, back to it. What did I do in my young adulthood? I treated people well because that gives me social skills. And of course, I organized the travelers to break out because, yeah, we're good like that. Hmm, I need an Aserai name, Kareem. I love the name of Kareem. Banner Lord difficulty, not that it really matters. I mean, we'll try to avoid battles. I'm not playing on Iron Man because reasons. I need saves for my video. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. Uh, nah, I don't think I will. Are you sure about that? All right then. One of a thing, brother. We're playing on um, campaign because we're gonna have more clan members that way. And clan member, clan members are essential for setting up a trade empire early. Banu Hakim, perfect. What symbolizes a traitor very well? I guess the market scales. A white flag because he surrenders in all the fights. All right, turn the sound a little lower. The music slightly higher. I keep the music low because I would like to know what kind of music is in the background but if I make a video I put my own music over it. It makes for a better experience. And now we are beginning. Let me know how the, uh, the sound quality is like. Isaac. Seems like you're the only one here, the only one keeping me company in this uh, adventure, for now.
All right. We'll be asking the people around here what tips they've got. Maybe they have some trade tips they're willing to share. I like doing this in the first few trade runs. So far, nothing. This one. Hide to Lycaron, a profit of four. This is worthless. Worthless information. Okay, what is this? Silver ore in Zionica. Now that is more acceptable. Keep that in mind. Useless info, useless info, useless info. Kind of useless info. But at least she's got the spirit. Oh man, the, the camera zoom-ins make me kind of nauseous. So silver or in Zeonica. Probably some cheese as well. The thing I like to do early on in my trader runs is to just sell most of my stuff. Especially the civilian gear, the civilian outfit. Hmm. Unfortunately, we do need some clothes. There's nothing cheaper. Right. The absolute cheapest weapon. Pitchfork. Just in case we need to defend ourselves. This way I have a bit... My starting capital is a bit bigger. Saddle horse. This is going to be useful. Bit of carry capacity. I have a bigger guide planned for Banner Lord, which involves engaging in combat as well. Uh, but uh, I need to do the trader-only stuff first. Grain. We'll buy grain here. Paying 221 for it. Hello, Ravager. Welcome to the stream. Merchant of death? No, we're actually a merchant of life. Is it worth selling the bow? Uh, I'm keeping the bow just in case I get ambushed by looters. I would like to avoid getting killed. Alright, a little bit of profit here. And it was easy profit because I bought stuff right in this village. Sold it here. This village does not belong to this kingdom. They are selling their goods in here. For less. If they were smart, they would come here to make money. But they're not. Recruit troops. I am trying to avoid violence. However, sometimes even the non-violent have to defend themselves. So yeah, I'm keeping the bow for now. Alright, some help. Some people who will help me carry my stuff to, my, to the next city. Green. Can't carry too much. Let's see how much of a hit I can take in regards to my speed. 4.3, I'd say that's acceptable. Also, always visit the villages. Maybe we can get more people. These guys are following me. But if I wait here, they're gonna get scared. Because they don't want to fight the militia as well. Yes, Unga Bunga. This is a trader. Just peaceful trader from start to finish. My goal is to get a million dinars. After that, we'll see what we can do. Of course, ideally, I avoid all combat. All of it. Just in the spirit of uh, being a trader. be avoiding battles so take that instead 
Let's go. Don't worry, Isaac. Your English is fine. I have not noticed any problem with it. Also, Isaac. Was that Abraham's son in the Bible? Don't remember very well. Old Testament. Oh, that's quite a lot of money for all these horses. Not for not spending too much. Silver is said to be selling well in Zeonica. We'll buy two pieces. Anything else? Butter. Not too many. All right, perfect. Leave me alone, looters. I don't want to fight you, but I will. Don't make me. Alright, some profit from this, and a lot of profit from this. Look at that. Grain. Grain is a bit expensive here, but it's even more expensive in the town. I will not be going that far, my caveman fellow. My goal is just, I told you, one million dinars to prove it's possible to earn without violence. And also because it forces me to learn some more new things about trading in general. Not many people know nowadays. How can anyone not know about Abraham being ordered to sacrifice his only son? And him saying, yes I will. But then, he, it's, he's told it's just a prank. There is a lot of um, wisdom in the Bible. Uh, let's see here. Hogs. Let's buy one experiment. Let's buy five hogs, 165 dinars. Our goal is to make money. That's it. One hundred sixty-five for five hogs. We'll be sacrificing those hogs and selling whatever they have. Hmm. Actually, we can just sell them for profit. Could work. Or we can do this. Now that is a nice return on investment. All things considered. Buy some more grain in here. Done. Now, at some point, I would like to replace all of my soldiers with cavalry or horse archers. Because those guys, uh, they allow you to move much faster on the map. I gained one level. Lovely. A bit more grain. And we are purchasing hogs. Although... Yeah, this is fine. That's fine. Caravan guard mercs? No, oh, no need for mercenaries. Mercenaries are too expensive. All I need are tier 2 troops. Nothing more. They're cheap, reliable. I only need people to carry my groceries. 
and to protect me from looters with their presence. If I have people around me, looters won't attack. That's all I really need. Now, uh, I think it disappeared. Damn. Okay, never mind. We're sacrificing all of the hogs at once. And look at that. Money. I would not have made that much uh, if I just sold them. I would have gotten trade experience. True. But right now, early on, money is more important. Because the more money you have, the more trade experience you can get. Alright, selling more grain and poros. Do I like Bannerlord multiplayer? Uh, I have played a little bit, I've enjoyed it, but I prefer the single player because, well, I don't depend on anyone. I just can play it by myself whenever I want, do whatever I want. But that persistent banner lord looks good. I will look into it. Shields and spears scare off the bandits. Yes, that's what I want. I don't want protection, I want a deterrent. I want to deter the baddies from attacking me. Alright, grain prices seems to have stabilized in here what else we selling butter nah oh beer could sell well in here let's look for quests there are quests that a merchant would do in calradia Nothing violent. For example, merchant caravan? Uh, no, because my merchant would have to fight and he would... Uh, how do I put this? He would help the competition at the same time. How long does it take for you to make a video? Well, about 100 to 200 hours of work. Although, in the future, I think I'm gonna be working a lot less. I uh, put in a lot of effort in the video editing. And I think that's kind of a waste, because most people are there for information and entertainment, not for cool visuals, if they even look cool. Uh... Hello there, game over. This is a normal trader campaign, but I will be making a video off of it. I will summarize the events of uh, this entire series of live streams into a single video. Take the lessons from it, maybe also turn it into a guide, we'll see. But this will serve a kind of a prerequisite something like that to my upcoming video where we're doing a trader run but uh, you know, a trader with quotation marks sarcastic like yeah I will uh, trade from time to time I will increase my trade level but we will not be doing that as an honest merchant peaceful merchant no 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 my main guy he will work as a mercenary, he'll be a raider, he'll be a rogue, he'll do whatever it takes to climb the corporate ladder, so to speak. This guy, though, uh, kind of like Isaac in the Bible, he's the sacrificial son, he's, uh, he's doing stuff here. Just so the other guy can take, can come over and uh, prove. Well, being a peaceful trader is not the absolute best. Here's what you can do instead. In my main video, the rogue trader guide, I can be like, well, I gave being an honest merchant a try. Didn't work out very well. I mean, it, it is viable. Don't get me wrong. It is fun if you like numbers. But uh, avoiding battles... Uh, I mean, it's Bannerlord. You buy Bannerlord for the battles. 
and the trader stuff is there just to protect to promote your battles to make sure you don't go bankrupt while you wage war yes i am addicted to it and uh, it's honestly uh, a crippling addiction 200 hours is about two months yeah sometimes it's two months sometimes it can take three months it's not uh, it's not great in terms of growing my channel which is why i want to do some lazy stuff in here chill for example this stuff is something i would play on my own without talking to anybody just keeping it for myself and i'm thinking i'm playing the game i'm testing why not hang out with my with the good people in my community show them what goes into making a video but i don't want to be doing that on my main channel i've lost subscribers because i do that so yeah i want to grow my channel man seeing this red and having to restrain myself from attacking not gonna lie pretty difficult in banner lord i am extremely violent Unlike real life. But look, they're tempting me. Everywhere. Temptation is everywhere. Grain, 26. Okay, grain might sell well in like Harold. Although, I have a pretty good spot I like to visit. Let's first see here. Clay sells well in Poros, but that's not enough volume. Hardwood also sells well in Poros. Butter, Ooh, nice. Right, who here produces clay? Uh, what? There is no clay. Oh, this one. But this one does not sell its stuff in Lycaron. The best part of my videos is my commentary and storytelling. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, most people, they, they like the story I put together. So, I shouldn't bother with those memes and PNGs and After Effects transitions with the strong zooms and stuff like that. That stuff takes me entire days, weeks to make. And it doesn't really add much to the story I mean yeah sure makes the videos kind of fun at moments I mean I would be amused by that but I don't know man too much effort and yeah it just not really worth it unless my video makes 200,000 views or more then the effort is worth it but let's be honest, most of my videos don't hit that these days. Especially not the storyteller kind of videos. I was expecting Astrid's journey to get a lot more views, but it didn't. Do I also play tournaments? Well, technically they are fine for a trader, but... My trader is a scrawny dude who can't even lift a sword without gasping for air. So, um, we'll, we'll stick to trading only. I mean, it's not as violent as actual battles. Nobody dies in tournaments. But yeah, my guy avoids combat. I think he Constantinus. I'm glad to hear it. But yeah, too much. Too much effort. Again, if my channel uh, 
If my videos made the views I kind of need to get to stay in business, because, well, I'll be getting back to the business side of things, but, well, uh, we'll focus on this. If it made the enough, if they earned enough views to justify the effort, yeah, I would definitely always put in the effort. But I made the mistake of registering my little venture as a business in my country and uh, you have to pay taxes on your business, whether they're profitable, whether the business is profitable or not. And let's just say that 2023 was my absolute worst year in terms of income. I gotta basically pay more taxes than I made money. So. Good thing I was successful in the previous years, and I still have some money saved up for the taxes. But, uh, yeah. Let's hope I'll do better this year. Otherwise, you might not be seeing me here anymore. Oh man, this clay was uh, a bust. All right, let's move out of here. By the way, I'm not saying this to complain. The stuff that is happening is my fault only. I can't get organized to save my life. See, can't get organized. My party is starving. But yeah, I'm just saying there are there is some stuff I need to do to take care of my stuff and actually make a living off of what I do. It's not anybody else's responsibility. Let me make this very clear. Mine alone. Anyway, we are going to... I hate this part of the map because I buy cheap grain in here but I can't sell it here, here, or here, or here, because everybody here has grain. Lagetta could be good for grain. Could. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Constantinus, about you and your dad. I mean, it's kind of a reason why I like making the kinds of videos I make, especially the one with Bandit's Ballads and Astrid's Bandit story. Maybe this one, this merchant playthrough here. Although, I don't know, I would zoom in on the guy so you can see him traveling from time to time. But yeah, I kind of like translating the gamer stuff to people who don't really understand games. Give them another uh, depth, so to speak. Oh man. Was really expecting to sell grain here, but I can't. Right. Who needs grain? Che. Huh? Quiaz? I think Quiaz could use some grain. Plagatea. I'm doing pretty well. I mean, came back to Bannerlord. I'm having fun. I need to do guide videos. Yes, that is uh, what this stream is for, after all. I'm preparing for a guide video. Am I going to experiment with different video styles? I already know what the algorithm likes. I just need to learn not to be such a perfectionist when I make my videos. By the way, perfectionists, I don't consider my videos to be perfect, but when I start making a video, I, um, I have a certain vision for everything that uh, is about to happen on screen. And usually the vision starts with me writing the script. That's the first thing. But the problem is to put, to bring the video just as I imagined it, to bring my vision into video form, that takes a lot more effort than I uh, anticipate, than I can anticipate. 
always. But I'm I'm used to putting in effort, so I'm okay with it. I like working hard for my videos. But time, time really fucks you up on YouTube, because if you take too long to make a video, it's not gonna be pleasant to the algorithm. So, yeah, that's the conundrum I'm in. I don't mind working hard, I don't mind the effort, I don't mind doing almost the impossible to bring my vision to life. But I'm not treating this as a business, that's what it is. I'm treating it more like an art project. And, you know, most artists, they die with no money in the bank. Your videos deserve more views. Oh, thank you. I am doing my best. Right. Ooh, fish. Fish sells well in here. Thank you. Yeah, my videos may turn out great, as you say, but if they don't get the views, I mean, what's the point? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful you guys watch my videos. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to sound like an ingrate, hey, my videos don't make views, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm grateful. You guys watch them and support them. But I don't need to make stuff that works better on YouTube, sadly. It's the only way to pay the bills. Yes, game over. That's uh, kind of the plan for my upcoming guide videos for Bannerlord. Then again, it is Bannerlord. It's old news by now, so I'm not sure how many views they'll get. But there are videos that I really wanted to do for a long time. The Ultimate Trader Guide and the Rogue Trader Tutorial. Those are videos I really wanted to make, and I will. But again, just as you said, as you suggested, I was planning this myself. Instead of writing those guides as uh, one single entity, 40 to 50 minutes long, I'll just break them apart into smaller things. Like, the Rogue Trader build is gonna have about 4 to 5 parts, if not more. I'll take each uh, each stage of gameplay separately. All right, 7000 dinars, it's pretty good. What country do I live in? Romania. It's an all right country to live in. I like it. That said, I uh, I don't want to <laughs> encourage people to move here. <laughs> I I'm a gatekeeper. I like keeping this country for myself and my my countrymen. Unfortunately, most. Uh, most of my countrymen are not grateful for the country they live in. So that's kind of sad. Alright, we are in Askar. What does Askar have? Cheap horses, cheap grain, cheap everything. Horses. Should I buy some horses? Uh, there are 161. 
at the very least they'll boost my party movement speed so let's see if i can buy 22 oh no 20 20 are enough and if i can sell them in a town for profit that would be well well and good every copper pipe if the guide doesn't do well oh no i'll just plant some other guide Maybe I'll make some Helldivers stuff, who knows. I have recorded every one of my battles in Helldivers 2. Now that's a lot of content to sift through. I, it's gonna take me a long time to, to figure out everything. But I have some cool moments, maybe something like that. Maybe I can give you guys... Uh, interesting moments from my Helldivers battles with some overlay commentaries. Who knows? I can describe my uh, a storyteller journey, storyteller video, describing my uh, exploits in Helldivers 2. From the... From the time I uh, destroyed an automaton outpost and then immediately ran into a landmine because I wasn't looking where I was going. To the time where I soloed a suicide mission operation. Could be good. But again, that's gonna be a lot of work. I was actually planning to stream uh, Helldivers 2 earlier today. I had a, a friend who invited me to play with him. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, but I'll be streaming my stuff because I don't want to record anymore. But then he kind of went away by the time I was done with my morning routine. So I've decided to play this instead. Well, game over. The country itself is gorgeous now politically there is some corruption going on in here but then again um, <laughs> tell me one country that does not have corruption you know what things are good i'm not gonna complain about what's going on in my country But I, I like it here. There are many people in my country who go um, work for years, either in Germany or UK or the US, where there's higher wages. They do a lot of penny pinching, and then they come back here and live like kings. So, yeah, that's pretty good, I would say. Right, Charis. What does Charis have? Charity. Okay, my trading is not going very well right now. 2.7k. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh... Jacqueline has cheap olives, or at least it should. Mm, 20. Mm, I'm not paying 20 dinars for olives. Let's ask this guy about his stuff. Yours is not a face I know. Oh, what is your name, okay. stranger? See this? Issue. Lord needs horses. This is definitely, I was saying earlier, I'm not going to be doing only trading. If there's quests that a merchant would do, he would pick them up. And when a lord needs horses, that's something a merchant would do. And you'll see why. Uh, what is Neritzi's Folly? 1077, a thousand years before the events of Cyberpunk. Tell me about the Battle of Pendrake. 
If you're not a speed reader, I'm sorry. Man, YouTube is pretty damn good. I mean, early on when I was making banner lord guides, I was basically living my dream job. But then I started making that trader series and it all went to <laughs> to hell. So yeah, I need to I need to balance the stuff. I have proposition. Actually, I'm not have. I don't have proposition. Heard you need help. All right, three Valambi courses, paying out 7.8k. Yeah. And Lord Engelther, he owns this town, so I'm gonna buy his horses here. And then with no effort whatsoever on my part, I can bring him the horses right in this town. Vellumby Coursers. One, two, three. 2.3k. And I could go talk to this guy, but talking to this guy takes too much effort. Click the town. Here are your horses. 7.8k. Best trade deal of my life. Look at this. If this is something a trader wouldn't do, that trader is absolutely stupid. Alright, so we'll be doing quests. Caravan Master, more carry capacity. Let's see, what do I have here? 2.6k carry capacity. Wait. Now with a 3.4k. Awesome. We can carry more groceries. And also cheap Sumter horses, of course. I'll take Sumter horses, but carefully. I don't want to be slowed down by the herding penalty. Olives are kind of expensive. Oil. Oil is good. And yeah, linen. I can sell both of these things at Lageta. Anything else I can buy? Hmm. Nope. Let's see what quests we have in here. Betting fraud, not my kind of stuff. What about you guys? Tools. Another job that a trader would do. Yours is not a... How many tools you need? One tool. 140 for one tool. Oh wait, no, you need it to buy. I'm not sure what they're gonna give me, but they usually pay you, they usually give you stuff that sell for a lot more money than the tools cost. Now, these tools, they are a bit overpriced, 106. I'm gonna have to go to one uh, of the cities here and buy some tools, sell them to Charis. But, if I give this guy the tool... 17 olives. Just selling them into town here, without profit, 274. So I've already doubled my money. Uh, right. We were going towards Lageta. Let's take stewardship. Invest one point into social. We are becoming socialist, brother. What about you guys? Train troops. No, because that takes... I need to do combat for that. I don't want to waste time with combat. Alright, so one of the things my uh, trader will do, he will take, he'll keep an eye out for quests. In towns, in cities, from lords. You've seen how much money I made from that uh, Lord Needs Horses quest. It's the absolute best mission you can hope for. 
highest payout for the lowest amount of effort. Sell the oil, sell the linen. All is good. As for the olives, I should not sell them here, but... Hmm. Nah, I'll keep them. 4.3k. Alright, another thing I like to do is pass by these Batanian pig farms, buy all the pigs, slaughter the pigs. I'm in danger. Maybe we can work out something. Oh man. I was not paying attention to the map. That's the problem. But we can do that. Right, hogs. 13,000. Well, 1300 actually. Sorry. 1300. Which place needs meat? We'll see. Meat. Where does it sell? Well, here, some, somehow. I'm not sure what here means. What is the closest town? Penkanok or Maranath? Maranath, I think. Alright, hog. Sell the meat, sell the hides, 2.4k, easy money. Hm. These guys have hogs here, and they refuse to slaughter them for meat. But I won't do it, I'll, uh, I'll buy the, the hogs in here. Hated that quest in Warbands. Uh, what quest did you hate? I, I'm doing a lot of quests in here. I, I often lose track of what I'm doing. The one with the horses. Tools for 60. Oh, Seonon is under siege. I wanted to go there. Usually has uh, amazing prices. It's honestly my favorite town to buy stuff in. What other games do I play? Well, lately I've been devouring Helldivers too. So that's one of the games I play. But I also play Project Zomboid, as well as other zombie games. I play all sorts of stuff. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with Helldivers too. That game is awesome. Either in a full team, or duo, or solo. I've been enjoying my time on playing it solo.
right. That's some good profit right there. Hmm, I'll take one point into medicine now. Hmm. Caladog has a quest. I'm curious what mission he has for me. If it's one of those Lord Need Horses situations, I'll be glad to take it. Let's talk to the guy. Oi, big dog, wait for me. Stop there, stranger. Scout enemy garrisons now, but he can tell me about this. Zomboid is one of my favorite games ever. Also, the only game that frustrates the fuck out of me. It's annoying when you spend hours training a guy, getting him in top shape, doing everything, gathering weapons. He's well fed, he's skilled at everything, and then you go on a run, on a looting run. You fight one zombie, your guy misses his swing, the zombie bites him, and then he's dead. I mean, I guess it's realistic, in a way. I mean, if, in, if you're in a zombie scenario, you can perish at any moment for no reason. Just because of one moment of weakness. But my goodness, it's annoying. I've actually started doing... I don't use cheats in my video games, I think they're scummy. But, Zomboid sometimes forces me to cheat. Like, I'm playing a game with a guy who has trained for months and he's become best of the best. If he gets bit, I clear all the zombies in the area, I quit the game, and I uh, use debug mode to remove the bite. I still count that as a death, don't get me wrong. I'm not, uh, oh, my guy survived. No, I say that, okay, this is where my guy died. This is how he died, stupidly, to a zombie bite. However, I would like to see how he would, uh, would, how he would die if he didn't die this stupid way. So yeah, I, it's a way for me to continue the game with the same character without losing hours of progress. Because, let's be honest, that is frustrating. All right, we have 17,000 dinars. Pretty good. Go to Tavern District. Tavern District. Let's look for spice vendors. No spice vendors. Let's look for Swift. No Swifts. Hmm. Wanderer? Let's see here. I am looking for people. I need... Caravan. Nope. Okay. If no caravan, then a scout. No one. What about an engineer? Nope. What about a surgeon? Nope. Lieutenant? All right, this guy. This guy in Carban set. What about a rogue? Okay, that guy in Carban set.
All right. Grapes, silk. Oh, silk. We're gonna have to buy some silk. Hello, good sir. Peace Mr. to you, stranger. Hello, breath. What is your name? My name does not matter. Trade everything. Fur. I'm curious about fur in here. How much does it sell for? 114, you can sell it to Lagetta for 313. Or to Charis for nearly 500. But I'm not gonna buy the fur here. Not now at least. There's something else I like to do. Buy it from the villages. I think there's another. Yeah, this one, Bog Beth. Whoa. One troop has deserted because I added the companion. Actually, let's make a save here. The T stands for his trade level. Fur by the fur for one hundred and twenty five. All right, and I said I'm also going to buy some silk. And we'll also buy the leather. Looks good enough. And I am preparing for a massive trade. I think you can, we can go like this, a little bit over encumbered. That doesn't matter. Barely slowed down. Caladog, did your question? My change? greetings to you. Nope. I was hoping he has one of those a Lord needs horses kind of mission. What do we sell in Lagetta? I'm not sure. Tools, I guess. Welcome back, Isaac. Welcome back. Nothing much happened while you were gone. Making a bit more money. Hmm. Fur 
sure did not sell as good as I was expecting it to. But that's alright. Right. Time for the next big step. Powerful merchant. Well. I wish to form caravan. Costs 15,000 for a caravan. Almost 16,000. Actually, wait, 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 wait. You, my friend, well, I'm not gonna buy you a horse in here. I'll buy you a horse in Seonon. Oh, Krotor, hello, my friend. Do you have any missions for me? Anything good? That's close enough. Who are yes. you? Yes. The Lord needs horses. You need Cantarion chargers. Of course. Alright. Ortizia should have Cantarion chargers, as you can see. In the village of Garantor. Primary production, Gar Cantarion charger. And that's where we're going, and then we're, we're going to Krotor's. Let's make sure. Three of them. It's by my guy. A little horse. Actually, I don't need to buy him. I already have the horses. There we go. I have some cheap stuff as well. I think I'll give him my bow and arrows. Horses. One, two, three. Where is Krotor? Okay, Lagetta belongs to him. Well, you definitely will, at some point. I have some ideas for both games. But right now I'm, in, I'm relaxing with uh, Banner Lord. Alright, powerful merchant. Please be I wish to form caravan. With better troops. All right, my friend, Godspeed. Buying your first caravan uh, and your first workshop is of utmost importance. You can set up some uh, passive income on the caravan side and some passive production with the workshop. And if you buy yourself a tool workshop in a place with either wood or iron, you can store most of the production in the warehouse and regularly return to it, get the free goods, make money. A lot of money. Right, uh, let's see quest stuff in here. Darbard Bellow Breath. Oh man. If he doesn't level up so I can put a point in his trade skill, that's gonna be difficult. And the only thing he can level up to gain main level is scouting. How to get trade level without exploits? Well, by just playing the game normally and employing some creative tactics like my, uh, what do you call it, uh, I think it's called siege trading, yeah, siege trading is not an exploit, it's just playing the game as intended. Alright, price penalty reduction when buying from villages, because we buy a lot from villages. We'll buy some more horses in here. Mm -hmm. 
But, Pablo, the main purpose isn't getting trade to 300 on this guy. He just wants to become a millionaire. We gotta keep an eye out for uh, sieges going on. All right, not a lot of stuff, and we're running out of money. I don't have any idea where I'm going to sell my stuff. I'll go into Vlandia. Now that I have some passive income going on, I can freely spend all of my money on trade goods and be sure that my party will be taken care of and they'll receive their wages anyway. Let's do the hog stuff again. Maybe there's more stuff to buy. Nine hundred and sixty for this one. Ooh, seventeen sixty. Let's see where to sell them. Well, I did put a uh, community post update on the main channel. Welcome aboard, welcome aboard, Jester. Right, where do I sell the meat? Something tells me in Kuyaz. Because they don't produce any animals other than fish. Rebels in Danustica. Now, as a rogue trader, that is your bread and butter. Rebel towns. But right now we're not a rogue trader, we're only a regular trader. Unkid, hello Unkid. We're all Xenos. Calradia is technically not part of the Imperium of Man, the planet that hosts Calradia. did not speculate well. What about hides? Okay, at least the hides bring a proper profit in here. Raw silk, hides, and the tools, and linen, and the leather, and a bit of meat. Not all of it because I'm running out of food. Easy money. Fish and olives. I'm actually going to buy the fish and the olives from the nearby villages. 
The art of the trade. I? I... Hello. You sell me 33 fish for 272. Let me bring my calculator out. Always have a calculator in handy. 272 divided by 33 means 8 dinars per fish. Wonderful. I'll just buy them. Won't gain me any trade levels. But I got the fish cheaper than you actually buy it in the village. Olives for 15. Always buy from villages, guys. The price remains constant and does not rise as you deplete the supply. Always do it. And then buy from the town. If you buy from the town first, prices are going to rise, and because they rise in town, they're also gonna rise in the villages. Where are base game missions of chump change? Not all of them, actually. Lord needs horses, for example. That is an amazing mission. It gained me so much money. Uh, olives? No olives in town, somehow. The missions are mostly there for the early game, though. There are some missions uh, that have really good payouts. Well, good day to you. All right, what do you need, my guy? Yes, yes, yes. Four Sumter horses. 48 meat. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Happy doing business with you. those looters that I want to kill and I can't because I'm a respectable trader right fish where does it sell well in Batanian villages Why is salt so... Ah. ah, because it belongs to the Aserai. And Kuyaz's economy is a bit uh, weird. Oi, so... Yeah, 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 I'll bring you tools, don't you worry. These guys keep worrying. Well, good day to you. What do you guy... What do you need? I have a bit of criminal rating. Now things are going to be a bit more expensive for me. But I can still buy the tools and the oil. Oil by the oil. No, 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 I'm not going to be a rogue trader on this playthrough. I'm going to be an honest, good boy kind of trader on this run. Rogue trader stuff comes afterwards when he realizes that being a an honest merchant is too much work and it pays too little. 
I got one Cantarian charger. Nice. So I I bought tools for 60, gave them, and he gave me a Cantarian charger which can sell for 600. Or more. Forgive me. Lord needs horses. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. See, you are saying about this gesture that uh, these missions are charm chump change. So basically, he needs three Cantarion chargers, pays 6k. That means 2000 dinars for horses, for each horse individually. I bought tools for 66, gave them to a village, they gave me one of these horses. I just turned 66 dinars into 2000 for very little effort. Let me buy a couple more. Not yet, let me alone. Now they are a bit more expensive in here to purchase. But that is great. I don't even need to go after the Lord. Just sell them in town. Easy. Easy money. Right. Well, artisans can sell products. Get flex to Lagetta. Perfect. Can you actually make big money honestly in this game? Yes, you can. Takes some effort in the beginning, but uh, well, it's it works eventually. It all works out in the end. My caravan, the other guy's caravan. It's not doing too great right now. Welcome. But that's okay. The key to making big money, honestly, is to keep your costs low by employing cheap troops. Without grinding... Uh, where is the fun in not grinding? I don't consider it grinding, though. Uh, for me, it's relaxing to play as a merchant. Deliver the herd to John Oi, Morris. Sorry. Yeah. How much? Yes, it's an opportunity for me to scout John Morris as well, see if there is anything worth buying in there. Sacrifice the hogs, always. The biggest money you can make without grinding and having the most fun is investing in the roguery skill because that allows you to make a lot of money from just battles nothing else that's how the big money is made without grinding but i like uh... well you're asking honestly technically if you join a kingdom and you don't commit any crimes even if you're a mercenary and you raid people that are your employer's enemies, that is making money honestly, without grinding. I do have an entire mercenary guide on it. So yeah. You should watch my... Uh, my mercenary video, if you haven't already. Well, good day. All right, grain. Grain does not bring a whole lot of money nowadays. Although I have an idea. 
Let's buy all the tools that I can. All the cheap tools. I remember Sanala paid amazing prices for tools. I'm gonna have to set up another caravan. Let's see if any Swifts or spice vendors showed up. Nope, they didn't. Always look for Swifts and spice vendors. These guys are over encumbered. They have a lot of. Uh, they have a lot of trade goods on them. I'm not fighting, I'm just sending my people to retrieve stolen items. See? 33 grain. Could not let them have the stolen items. I just had to break away from my non-violence rule when I saw those those forest bandits move so slow. I knew they just raided someone. And it's a shame to leave that go to waste. So yeah, if you also do battles like this every once in a while, you can make a lot of money. No, 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 the role playing did not stop. I merely found a justification. Buter, let's buy Buter. Linen is cheap. Buy everything that's cheap. Well, that's about it. Horse thief. Hell yeah. Peace to you, stranger. Welcome aboard, friend. Flax grain. Tools. Buy as many tools as you possibly can. Well, yes. Trader needed to defend his items. His trade caravan from raiders. Nope, I'm not gonna sell the tools here. Even though it would be profitable. Let's see what quest does this guy have. I Perfect. don't think I know you. Tell me about the Battle of Pendrake, whatever. You need horses, right? Three Glintor ponies. We'll buy them from here. Or we could buy them. Right from Glintor, the source itself. Let's see how much it costs. Glintor pony. One, two, three. Here are your horses. Thank you for the easy money. A new challenger appears. Yo to you too, my friend. Welcome to my little stream. Caravan ambush? No, because we avoid most violence. 
Gang needs recruits. Not selling my tools here, leave me alone. Stop there, stranger. Okay, this I... guy's mission does not... Uh, it's not good. Jago, hello. What's up? I'm playing as a traitor in Bannerlord. How about you? What's going on with you? Hey. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Is it not too early to stream now? I mean... Maybe it is, but I don't care. I wanna play. And why play when I could be streaming? Lord needs horses. Love this quest. I just love this quest so much. I haven't been streaming in a very long time, so yeah. I'll do it whenever I can, whenever I find the time for it. Thank you, Water Draco. Also, welcome to the stream. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Glint or Pony. There we go. Waiting for you. Did I bring the horses? Of course I did. Easy money. Right. What other town sells tools? Maybe Oxhall? Do I find trading fun? Yes, I actually do. I like it, it's relaxing. Peace to you, stream. What animals do you need, my friend? Cattle. Um, I can't. Going for cattle takes too long. I enjoy the battles as well, but uh, variety is nice. Too many battles is not a can get boring. Four mules, I think I do have the mules. I don't know what he gave me. Not money, clearly. Did he even give me anything for those mules? Or did I... Did he say something like, Oh, sorry, we can't pay anymore. And I clicked uh, the text saying, Oh, okay, that's alright, don't worry about it. I might have done that. Uh, I'm gonna need to pay more attention to what I'm doing in the future. How much time will I spend on this stream? I don't really know. I mean, I will have to go get lunch. Uh, in about 30 minutes to an hour. And then, if my, uh, if my friend wants to play, if my friend wants to play Helldivers, I'll join him in Helldivers. If not, I'm gonna continue the stream until late at night. I mean, it's the first Saturday I have where I'm just home all day and I really don't have the, the mental energy to do anything else. I'm just glad I can relax and play a video game for once. So yeah. 
tools. Of course, buy all the tools. And the leather. Oh, I'm carrying a bit much. That's not good. It's gonna slow me down. Tools. We buy more tools. Always buy more tools. Although I think that's enough tools. Yes, that is the plan, freak. To make a YouTube video out of this um, whole stream. When it's done, of course. All right, setting course to Sanala. Wouldn't I be served only trading in high cost goods? Um, you'll see, you'll see my plan. <laughs> Until my guy gets his uh, fat ass to Sanala, I'm gonna go bring some water for myself. I'll be back. Is there a way to make a series on the main channel with my little warband? Oh man, I'm, I'm not doing series anymore. A series is too much of a commitment. And if it fails, I'm just stuck doing something that just isn't bringing any, any profits. I don't care too much about profits, but... Uh, you know who cares about me making profit? The tax man. If the tax man comes and I haven't made enough profits in a year, he's gonna break my legs. So I do need to make some profit with my YouTube channel. Of course, if I want to have my legs not broken. That's always optional. Alright, tools. Wonderful. They sell for 238 here, but here's what happens. Price decreases. Sold about 100. Wait, how many do I? How many am I selling? Do they have any tools at all in here? They have three tools. So I'm selling 126 tools. For 14,000. That is good. That is good. What if I sell them in the village? 147. But the price stays constant. I want to do something... Uh, strange. Not villagers. Let's wait for a caravan. Villagers, villagers, villagers. Mm. 
No caravan headed to Sanala. Let's wait by the bridge. For any caravan that passes near Sanala. Looks like I'll be waiting here a while. I'm a highwayman. I'm waiting by the bridge. Your money or your life. But the traitor version of that. Stop oh, okay. this! Tell me about the stuff. Thank you for telling me about the stuff. You don't have the quest I want. Good on you. Damn, no caravans are showing up in here. Ah, there we go, finally. Ugh. Did you see how my mouse automatically went over hand over your goods or die? Old habits die hard. <sighs> Don't do that. I'm a trader. <laughs> this time around I'm a trader. And I'll be they, I'll be getting information out of these guys. Right. Raw silk from Umbrella sold at Ascar. Actually, let me get my tome. Where did I put my tome? It's on the other end of the room. I'll be back. I am back with my trader tome. Let's write, write down the information. I recommend you do this. For maximum role playability. A spell of uh, remember where to sell the raw silk and where to buy it. Silk. Umbrella. Ten. Denars. Ascar. 54 denars. I like doing this, writing shit down physically. Tell me, I thought I'm gonna rob them again. Leather. You can just spam the guy and he'll give you as many information, as much information as he possibly can. Three, four, eight. No, no, I hate Excel. I prefer physical stuff. Prefer writing stuff down physically. Okay, he's starting to sound like a broken record. Thank you for the information. I'm interested in trading. So, the tools have a starting price of... Uh, I'm gonna need my calculator for this, actually. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna drop a save here. Because I might, it might be useful in the video, and I want to grab this thing entirely. Trade with caravan. Uh, but the thing is, the caravan has less money on it. Okay, starting price is three hundred and forty-two. We sell for as long as they're profitable. I I did not pay attention how many I sold. I think there's they don't have any pools anymore. Pools zero. Okay, three hundred forty-two. 
sell until the price drops to about 70 16,000 for 134 so we'll calculate an average 16 7 12 divided by 134 the average price is 124 if you sell them to the caravan the average price is the displayed price that you actually see for yourself with your own two eyes of 211 so i'm not going to sell my stuff here the last episode of Balon, there was a scene where he died in battle how did you make it so that was still alive i did not use cheats but i do have uh, i have backed up all of my saves in separate folders for each episode and basically what i do every time i need a new scene that i have not recorded in the main playthrough i just load up one of those i copy paste it basically in the save folder because it's on iron man so it's the only way you can do it that's how you can make the alternate scenes as for the gameplay itself i did not do that to to undo my mistakes as you've seen, plenty of mistakes done by Balon. Hello, Mr. Trader. I'm interested in trading. Ah, oh, you've got 9.7k. Hell yeah. Sell tools to this guy. For an average of 211. Now he's thinking. He's got... He's got tools that he just bought for 211, he, he can sell them for 300 and something. And he's thinking, hmm, should I sell my tools in here? Yeah, you probably should before I do. Too late. Ha, got scammed. Technically, this is an honest trade. I mean, I didn't ask the guy to, I didn't force him to buy my stuff. Man, look at that. The hell? That's a lot of money. I can't even remember how much money I had before I did this. Let me... Let me load. Because I'm really curious. I had 12,000. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you guys like seeing how money is made in Bannerlord? Okay, my boy, sell your tools somewhere. I don't care. All right, I am a very devious at times. I mean, I promised I'm an honest merchant. I didn't break any rules. It's not an exploit. I should not have bought grain. Where am I even gonna sell it? To Charas? For every good decision I do, I make like three bad decisions, like purchasing grain. Workshops gather trade rumors? No, I want my caravans to gather trade rumors because I'm gonna have more of them. Forgivable grievances? No, you want double persuasion to success. Also frugal, the rogue trader would take this, for reasons I'll explain in the guide. Thank you, ex Jallos. Now my caravan is starting to make some money. But my guy here, Darbard Bellows Breath, he 
he's stuck. He will no longer level up. But there is something I can actually do. I can put Eric Horse Thief in uh, charge of the caravan. And who knows, maybe Eric Horse Thief can get some levels? No, I don't think he can. Hello, my friend. Do you need any horses? It's been. A yes, I knew it. Three Valambi coursers. How much do they cost? Hmm, One thousand each. Actually, they're cheaper in uh, in town. If there is any in town, ah, let let the villagers sell the horses first. One, two, three. Have I brought the horses? Yes. Thank you for the money. Much appreciated. Alright. As I said, grain does sell well in Charas, but it's not very profitable now. More caravans which means I need more companions which means I need to explore the towns look at that my caravan is a lot more profitable now also one thing I highly recommend if you're a trader I'll continue this uh, as soon as I do some stuff here in town. What do you do? Hmm. Not sure I should uh, invest in her. Although she has writing. Whatever. Yours is not a face I know. Alright, one of the things I highly recommend you do as a trader, if you can do it early on, instead of recruiting people like this Vlandian recruit or Botanian volunteer or Imperial recruit, instead of doing this and then spending money on horses, like Nahasawi, which is... I bought them for 160, I think. Instead of doing that, you go to castles either in Vlandia or the Kuzeet steppe. Villages bound to castles. Bound settlement, Hongard castle. And you recruit squires. Now, I've got a perk in Frugal that makes them cheaper to recruit. Where is it? Here? Yes, 15% recruiting costs. So instead of Recruiting one guy and then buying a horse for 200 dinars, you can just recruit a rider for less money and you get a higher speed bonus. Downside is they can't carry two horses with them. Like one recruit, he can carry, he can herd a regular horse, one that he can ride on, and a saddle horse. One of those guys that increases your character, your party carry capacity. So yeah. Upsides and downsides. If you want to carry more horses and have less speed, go for the recruits. If you want more speed but fewer horses, 
squires all the way and they're cheaper that's something you might want to take into consideration let's go to Hongard as well four Vlandian squires I recommend a nice balance of uh, Vlandian squires and uh, Kuzeid horse archers. It's a pretty good caravan setup, because that's what your party is when you play as a trader. You're a caravan. to replace this guy with a she-wolf because he does not have a horse and I don't know maybe a horse could be good improve the party speed somehow somewhat Also going to be asking the tavern keep whether he sees whether he knows of some good people to hire a caravan nobody a quartermaster look for everyone Actually, I don't think I can hire anyone else because I'm still clan tier zero. Yep, three out of three companions. Well now, stranger. Whoa, I don't care about this. I just wish to form a caravan in this town. With Dar Bard Bellows breath. And once the other guy gets here and he gets a horse, he's gonna be sent on a caravan as well. And that's how you make most money as a trader. You make some initial capital with just trading. And if you find some really profitable trades every once in a while, you can make a ton of profit like that. And trade skill. But most of your money is going to come from uh, caravans and workshops in the long term. You got a lot of meat and nobody to sell it to. Actually, I'm going to buy some saddle horses. Maybe they're needed for some quest or another. Perfect. Peace to you. Ben Canuck. Yes. I don't know what you've given me. But I'm gonna buy more stuff that sells well in Penkanok. What about this one? Meat. Does it sell well? 
I don't even know. Fish should bring some profit. Ooh, so many hogs for such a low price. <laughs> My speed suffers. You know what? We can take it. We can take it. I mean, hopefully I'm not gonna run into any gangs that'll fuck me up. Also, sorry for the... Um, what do you call it? A foul language every once in a while. Still trying to remove it from my vernacular. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. It's something I've chosen to do. Right, what uh, slows me down the most? The herd. Some of the herds gotta go. Even if I'm more over encumbered. Alright. Move speed is a bit more acceptable now. This is gonna take some time, take some time, take some time. Hey. What animals do you need, my friend? One hundred K. Three cows, one K. Hmm. Nah, nah, nah. It's... The payout is too small, the effort too great. We're going some other place. Fish. As expected, it sells well. Meat isn't great, but whatever. Well, now. I sell my meat and hides I have no idea but now that I'm in Batania might be a good time to invest in a workshop and a caravan meat okay this is actually good keep some for my men Investing in. Well, tools are usually good. A wood workshop in Seonon could be good. I. I don't. He's a horse thief, but he does not have a horse. If you can believe that. What kind of a horse thief are you, my friend? What? No, it's not what I wanted to do. No, 
right. We do have a another caravan. Now one of you guys needs to have a wood workshop. There you are. Well now, str I wish to buy it. Yes. I must leave. Yes. Now I have a warehouse where I can deposit my stuff. And here's what I'm gonna do. Nothing for now. But I will purchase all the wood I have in the surrounding villages. Now, the investment. Let's write it down. 592 plus... Nine nine two, and there's another wood village in here. That is a good explanation, freak. My greeting. Lord needs horses, of course, my lord. Of course. Always, always take these quests. Plus 1332. That is my initial investment in wood. What about you guys? Our Yours fate. is not a face I know. Nope. Melody. It's been a while. Nope. Yours is not a face I know. Let's, what uh, is your name? I cannot stage? take this quest since I already have one, but I'm gonna track down Prindor as soon as I'm done with Kaladog's quest. Alright, all the wood I have on me is going in the warehouse. And I'm not gonna touch anything until um, it's done. Until it's all consumed and I sell all the tools it produces. Just because I'm curious how things will go. Get input from the warehouse. Status halt it. We have materials now you should produce. We're going to store 50% of our stuff. There was a mechanic some time ago where uh, if they didn't have profit at the workshop they would simply stop producing even though I had uh, items in the warehouse. Even though I specifically selected this, I'm like, okay, don't produce because you don't have money. No, you produce, you keep producing and I'll sell the stuff. You just do your job, keep working. Halted, we cannot sell. Of course you can sell, you dumb morons, because everything is stored. I hopefully won't run into that sort of trouble in this playthrough. It's a nasty spiral to go down on. Right, uh, three glint or ponies I think they need, right? Glint or ponies. Usually it's just three horses. So I'm gonna buy six and then uh, hunt down Prindor. Mm, I will go after Kaladog because uh, the armies seem to be headed in the same direction. And then I can find Prendor. Let's see. Prendor. Near Andern. Are you sure about that? The information is a bit outdated. Okay. Where are you going, Varcheg, to besiege? Is there anyone else near Varcheg to besiege it? 
Yes, Caladog's armies. Oh no, it's not. Yours is not a fake. Dog is. Ah. I'm guessing the battalions are on to war on two fronts. Oh no, they're not. Oh, they are. With the Western Empire. I'm assuming they'll attack Rote or some castle around here. I wish I knew. Your Segos castle. Yes. As expected, Caladog is attacking the castle. And I can't talk to him, I think. Damn it. Should have gone to Marunath since the very beginning. Wasted so much time. Okay, next time, I'll just go straight to the Lord's capital. Rather, Lordstown. The seat of his power. But you know what's missing from me? Renown. And in order to make Renown as a peaceful trader, I either need quests with this. Or I'm going to need this perk right here, I think. No, it's one it's one one fifty. Or in one twenty five. Yeah, in one twenty five. Daily renown from each caravan. So I need a few more profitable trades to make my caravans bring in fame and fortune. Right, Prindor. They are all besieging Mazadan Castle. Oh, look at that. A thousand money per day. Bandit base. I don't care about that. Come on, finish your siege already. I need to talk to you. Actually, go in between the besiegers and the castle. A very safe place to be. Well, technically, this is the siege camp. It's some place away. Losing money waiting here. I could be trading. And they're inside. Damn it. I need to wait for them to get out. I'm not allowed in the castle. Where's Prindor? Hello? What the hell? Is Prindor not here? It's been a while. Ah, <sighs> the quest expired. Oh well. 
wasted time and wasted money on those horses. I guess that's the nature of the job. Always at risk. Hello, Mr. That's Lucan. close enough. Who are you? Nice crown. Well, there's nothing here I can uh, sell. It's not like I can sell anything. But I can always buy stuff. I can buy more tools and uh, get back to Sanala. Did what I've done some time ago. To make money. Yours is not. And eventually this, do something like this every once in a while. Eighteen hardwood. It's been a while. It's been a while. There we go. We're back in business. Three Glintor ponies. It's been a while. Whoa, whoa. Two armies in here? Or just one? I'm not sure what is going on. Oh. Here are your horses, my lord. Okay, so I did not waste time and money. I just took a little detour. I already have 31 tools. Here's what I'm going to do with these tools. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them here for now because I need to be testing. Test everything. I'll only buy the tools. I'll get the tools from here once the hardwood is depleted. Normally, I wouldn't care. I'll just buy them outright. Not buy. Take. They're mine. I'm not paying anything for them. But because I want to test how profitable they are, I'll leave them in there. Silver dog, pottery, linen, and fur. Let's stock up on items before we go back to Sanala. All right, a few towns on the way towards Sanala.
I'll be doing this trade and then I'll be taking a break because I need to have lunch and I'll be back don't know exactly how maybe back with banner lord or maybe I'll be playing some hell divers we'll see But yeah, thank you guys for joining me today. As I've said, normally I do this by myself, on my own, without anybody watching. But I don't know, seems kind of a waste to do that. Much better to share the process. There is something I have to admit about this pure trader playstyle. It's slow at first, very slow. But it can work. just remembered another troop you can get I was giving tips earlier of how you can uh, get Vlandians Vlandian riders or Kuzet riders in your caravan you can also get uh, yourself Aserai riders tier 2 Aserai youth same, uh, same thing. My party expense is at 81 with 31 people. I'm interested. Oh, they don't need tools. That's disappointing. But there's gotta be another town in the desert that purchases the tools. Purchases. If not, I'm not worried. I got daily income coming my way. Rebels in Borchek. Perfect. I think I'll just start selling tools at this price. A slight profit. It's better than nothing. Gonna reach one million in the next year? Well, yeah, I do estimate a million by 1086. Oh, trust me, this 
Once you get trade 125 and you can get the passive renown, it's gonna be a, it's gonna have a snowball effect. I have tried something like this before. It's just unbelievable how effective it was. But it does take some patience. Is this a no combat campaign? For the most part, I did see one combat scenario where uh, it was just too tempting to go and attack them. A very small group of uh, bandits that just attacked a caravan or some villagers and they had a lot of uh, good stuff on them. Couldn't let them go as much as I wanted to. The Legion of the Betrayed. Well, we're pretty much done with the desert. I did not do the trade I wanted. But we're still doing pretty well. Right. First time I set foot in the step. Well, not yet. Let's see if there's any good things we can buy or do in here. There's a lord in town, I actually... I think he's a prisoner that has that quest for me. Yep. There's no leader in here. I was waiting for the Lord to walk out, but he's in the dungeon. The guy with the quest. Alright. Well, we'll be visiting some villages and towns around here. Actually, let me check for quests with these guys. Siege won't last much longer. It's possible we'll find a quest we need. What the? Damn it. I can't go to the Lord's Hall. I need to pay a bribe. But I can talk to the Lords directly from this interface. Revenue farming, revenue farming, and the Lord needs horses. Come Yours on. is not. Darshi horses. Some other time. I have the quest. I don't need to hurry for it. 20 days. We go to Akalat, we take a look at the prices, we won't buy anything, then the stream is gonna take a break. A short little break.
Iron ore, this is pretty good. I'll buy it from the village first. First we'll hit the villages close by. Buy everything for, for cheap. And then we'll come into town to buy the rest. 42,000. Once I uh, get trade 125 and I start leveling up my clan, I can invest into more caravans, more workshops, make more money, and basically it's gonna be very quick from there to get to 1 million. But yeah, it'll take a while till we get the ball rolling. Anyway, boys, thank you for joining me now. I'll uh, be seeing you later, after I have my lunch. Either we'll continue this campaign or with Helldivers. Let me just save real quick. Kareem T100, because I'm not sure. I think he's 110. He's not 125 yet. I know that much. Oh, 121. Close enough. But yeah, thanks boys for joining, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye uh, for now.